Hey y'all, what's going on? So I wasn't going to make a video today. However, earlier this afternoon, I saw this op-ed from the New York Times by Frank Bruni. Now, I don't read the New York Times, but it was it was posted. The link was posted on Real Clear Politics, so I happened to see it. And I just can't help but reply. I mean, it's just begging for, for a response. And, and, you know, this is off the cuff, so do with it what you will. But death came for the Dakotas. That's a headline, quite a dramatic headline. Death came for the Dakotas. In terms of the coronavirus, they're a theater of American disgrace. Whoa, American disgrace. Wow, what could this possibly be about, Mr. Bruni? Well, let's see. Under normal circumstances, he writes. And keep in mind, Frank Bruni is a man who makes definitely upwards of six figures, maybe, maybe even close to seven figures. He's living in an upscale New York penthouse apartment. Uh, his job, I assure you, has not been imperiled in the slightest by the lockdowns. So this is a man in a total cosmopolitan coastal bubble. Under normal circumstances, he writes, I would have flown to one or both of the Dakotas to write this column. But the whole point is that these aren't normal circumstances. And I don't have a death wish. Whoa, I don't have a death wish. The insinuation there, of course, is that if you travel to the Dakotas, you must you obviously have a death wish because people are just dropping like flies over there in the, the Dakotas. Too much? Probably. But how else to convey the proper timbre of outrage, the right pitch of grief over what happened there? Uh, you know, you, you have to wonder how long did he spend editing this sentence? Like, oh, let me get the perfect words. I got it. The proper timbre of outrage and the right pitch of grief. Yes, I'm such a good writer. He continues, as of Friday afternoon, South Dakota led the country in average daily number of recent COVID-associated deaths per capita with three for every, wait for it, three for every 100, three for every 1,000, no, three for every 10,000, no, not that, three for every 100,000 people. Three for every 100,000 people, it's three. And guarantee you that nine uh, ten of those three people are in their eighties or up, upwards. Hate to see that happen for those three people, uh, but this is not a death wish, okay? <laughs> this is not a even remotely, remotely close to the extreme hyperbole used in a op ed three for every 100,000 people. Oh, and get this. This is so, so terrible. North Dakota was second at one and a half, one and a half deaths for every 100,000 people. The inhumanity of it all. It's a, this is a disgrace for the United States of America. Oh, here, uh, he says it better than I do. The Dakotas are a horror story, a horror story that didn't have to be a theater of American disgrace. Want to understand the tendencies? Pathologies might be a better word. That made America's dance with the coronavirus so deadly. Visit the Dakotas. Intellectually, I mean. <laughs> I mean, this guy... Unbelievable. I mean, this entire op-ed, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It, this entire op-ed is just dripping, dripping, dripping with it's off the charts condescension, off the charts uh, paternalism, elitism, arrogance. The assumption here is that South Dakotans and just people in, in, in North America more generally are are too too stupid and ignorant to know what's best for them. You know, they need to be guided by expert elites from New York City like Frank Bruni. You know, some people are stubborn. Maybe some people don't want to lose their jobs and completely throw away their entire livelihoods, their their children's education, uh, t you know, 20% unemployment. Maybe people don't want that if it's going to maybe, possibly, and in reality, not really, save three out of every 100,000 people and you go you go on and then the New York Times includes this photograph here of Dakotans and they're they're out and about and 
Oh, where are they? Oh, they're at the Parade of Lights. Oh my, they're, they're, they're with friends and family celebrating Christmas and, and they're being j jolly and merry and oh, it's, a, it's a super spreader and more evidence that the Dakotans have lost their minds and are, quote, pathological, as Frank Bruni calls them. Uh, you know, anyway, I'll stop there. The reason why I wanted to discuss this article very briefly, just again, off the cuff, it's just emblematic, again, of, of the privilege of this writer you know, writing from his 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 high post and and looking down on middle America and, and wagging his finger at, at people just wanting to be human beings and and I'm telling you it's uh it it's really it's it's sickening for me to 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 see this stuff and and to read it and that's all I have to say so hope y'all are well and I'll see you next time so long peace.